What's going on guys? Rockley AC here back at it again with another deck profile. Today I'll be bringing you guys Shenron Hand Control. Yes, a lot of you guys remember him back in the day, really destroying a lot of people's confidence because of that Gogeta 7 drop. And today I am going to be bringing it back with a newly revamped version. Of course, this is in the meta that is before the Unison cards. I know they just recently came out and they seem pretty broken. A lot of crazy interactions and everything. So this is going to be obviously in the format that happens prior to the release, which did get pushed back to, I think, I believe the end of May. So a lot of the stuff I'll be talking about now is within that time that we're still stuck. A lot of states are still stuck in their own hometowns, not being able to move around and stuff. So if you guys want to try this out online on Untap, Octagon, or um, if you got a buddy or something like that that you could play with, uh, this is something really fun. And uh, it just it's just really reminiscent of the Gogeta hand control engine from back in the day. So the reason why we're playing this one is because, again, the format is very open. Um, I'm bringing you guys these decks in the last week or two because of a different changeup in the metagame. A lot more casual, a lot more fun. So you're going to have a less likely chance you'll be playing all of the top decks and everything like that. Anyways, um, so yeah, this format is more open. It's less aggro, of course. You're going to have the Majin Buu's, the Gohan's. Well, you'll have your aggro decks. It's nice against a lot of the mid-range decks that are like turn 4 to 5. This is essentially what it is. Um, you know, it's good against like those surge leaders who don't really attack you as much. You'd rather not really attack them in, in general until you get your pieces. So you'll, you're seeing more of like a stall deck too as well. You're seeing more of surges that are like Invoker, SS3, different rogue, deck, rogue decks. Uh, so again, this is just for those matchups. So, positives about this deck. It cycles really fast, which is really important for the win condition in this deck. You'll see you'll get your pass, uh, you'll get your pieces a lot faster than other decks with the Dragon Ball cycling and whatnot. And it has really great finishers with the Gogeta 7 drop. And spoiler alert, I do run the Power Ranger engine here. So those two combined together are actually really deadly. So those are very solid finishers for your mid to late game. Uh, run so it is somewhat like a hand control deck and what's nice is that you'll less likely be facing off against a mirror match which is like another shenron deck but it does have some aggro decks like all shenron decks it is bad against aggro so if you do match up against those you got to really search for your negates and everything and, and super combos to try to fight off that aggro um, also world peace has been ratted it's not as strong anymore it's not as broken as it used to be so that that's the only really main downfall of the Shenron aspect of, of the cards that synergize with this deck. And if you're going against a deck that has a lot of hard removal stuff that could get around barrier, uh, then you'll also have a tough time. But let's go straight into it. The Dragon Ball leader. It's been a long time. Uh, Dragon Ball, once per turn, you could search your life or deck for two Dragon Balls put to your hand. Cannot attack. And then once you re uh, reach all seven Dragon Balls, you could awaken. And basically the, the second effect doesn't really matter. Get a card from your drop, which is usually World Peace. Uh, so on Shenron, on this uh, Awaken side, you got the Miraculous Arrival Shenron. Choose one card. It gets Desire in all places. Um, and you can play it. Uh, essentially, World Peace can only be played on turn four and more. And it can only summon a three cost or less. So that is the main errata for that. Also, you get to draw a card, or you could choose uh, seven Dragon Balls in a drop area removed from the game, and you could choose a battle card, and it gains tri uh, triple attack and plus 10k for the duration of the turn. So, really strong. That's your main win condition, obviously, for this deck. So, let's go ahead and start off with the Dragon Ball package, which is really nice and simple. Seven Dragon Balls, draw. Uh, you want to keep your energy open for either your defense or your power ranger engine so that you can go into it and um, have your energy used uh, efficiently you can put the one star ball in there if you want to drop the world piece it's it's not that bad of an idea either uh, this is mostly blue black so you're going to be seeing a lot of these blue cards four negates is Whis coercion just being able to keep an energy open up untapped is really strong um, and you need to against aggro so it's a nice defense card. Super combo of choice is Temporal Rescue Trunks. He's pretty much active either as early as turn one, being a five cards, sparking five to draw, defend your life, be aggressive when you need to, search for your cards, filter them is very powerful. 
for Sensabine. Also really strong if you have the Power Ranger engine. By like turn three, you could go up the chain, untap, and have your six drop out turn three. Uh, next is two world piece. Don't really need it in this deck. I mean, it's really there for a tech choice on turn four. Uh, your first couple turns, you want to get the Power Ranger engine um, on the field. Turn four is open for um, either going into that six drop or going into certain uh, pieces that you need, defending your life till turn five that you, so that you could use Gogeta 7. So on turn four, this is your ideal play. It's playing World Peace for free. Um, and the only targets that I really have are stuff that could help against like certain matchups. Um, two Android 18 and one Newfound Power Purunga. So 18 is essentially there for against hand control. Uh, so when she's put in play, you draw two cards. So if you're using this on turn four for free, you know, you're basically going to be drawing two for free. It's, it's almost like a light Ribrian slash uh, monkey ape to draw two, but you are losing the world piece out of the hand, but you don't have to pay so much energy. So it's the best you can really get for like a black deck that needs um, hand advantage in a way if you're not going to run stuff like the, the scratch negate or anything like that. Um, but she's really powerful too. If you want to cast it for three, if you feel like you have enough, you know, cards in your hand to defend life. If you're not going against something aggro, then you can afford to tap her out for three energy. Or if you're not going against a deck that has a lot of counterplay, you can do that as well. Really just use it to your knowledge and, and strength against the matchup. And then Newfound Power Purunga, you just you just still need ways to get rid of cards, um, including stuff that has like a whole field. So if you are going to go against something crazy, veggies, I know that's, that's weird to sound, Jiren, successor stuff, you're going to need a ways to get rid of that. And Purunga really helps that ignoring barrier and stuff again you could cast this on three depending on your matchup depending if they have counter plays you could do that to tap out depending on your defense cards that is up to you but you could also cast it for free world of world peace next is the gogeta 7 engine you run four preface recovery three uh or sorry four sneak attack vegeta and then the gogeta 7 i only run two because you cycle so much and you don't really need them until turn five so you're going to usually see them with all your draw power, with your Dragon Balls, with your leader effect to draw cards uh, if you need to use that. So you you don't really need this too much as a finisher. Uh, the Power Ranger engine is actually a finisher in itself, and I'll show you in a little bit. Um, but Free Phrase is also really fun. Like A lot of these cards, you could use them with World Peace if you need to do some funny plays. Um, if you do bring them down when Godry to 7 and then you, you, they survive the next turn, or if you don't want to attack the next turn, you could drop another Sneak Attack Vegeta for World, World Peace make them drop another card things like that can come in clutch depending on the situation of the game uh, and the game state so these cards can help again um, preface of recovery to untap energy if you have the police engine out there the power ranger engine and you need just energy to untap you could roll a piece the preface of recovery to untap a couple energy and then you could go into your higher drops so it really depends like like I, I like this engine because it's nice and simple it doesn't cost too much and uh, I didn't want it to be too expensive for those who don't have a lot of the draft box cards obviously the Ultra Instinct Goku counterplay would be good too as well but I um, wanted to keep it nice and casual in a way so this is your other main finisher is the Gogeta 7 that everybody loves and hates mostly hates but we're going to play it until it gets removed from play you got the Power Ranger engine probably one of the best generic engines in the game um, it's just so good to be able to pressure your opponent consistently the turn one drop uh, you just see so often and you want to get your pieces in it searches the top seven then you got the four drop who is a barrier dual dual attack i usually put this out on turn two i only swing once and then keep on the board with barrier even though there are cards in the format that get rid of barrier your opponent has to waste and think about using it on something like this so you're most likely going to keep it on the field so that you could evolve the next turn into your five drop and six drop i usually like to keep it on there until i get all my pieces in my hand so that i could just go for one big swing for that and when you have the pieces in three energy um play the catapepsa righteous fury he's a five drop when he comes into play you draw a card and then you get to remove a card from the field which is really strong so that's really cool you get that effect and then once he's tapped, you could pay one more to restand him, and he gets dual attack, double strike, and he also has barrier. So he is another finisher in the deck when you have him. So the play is basically 
you know, first couple turns, you get your Power Ranger engine out. Turn four, you will piece whatever engine you want or whatever tech card that you want to use. And then on turn five, you drop um, Gogeta 7 out so that they drop their hand to three. And then you could either activate Shenron's effect to give this guy triple tech and just go for game. Very hard for your opponent to come back from there once they're Gogeta 7. You're going to be swinging with him first, of course. Obviously, there, drop the Gogeta 7. They drop their hand to 3. Shenron activate effect. He swings 3 more times for double uh, for 30k, 40k, actually, with the Shenron's plus 10k. Dual attack going into triple attack, double strike. That's super strong. Very hard for your opponent to come back from that. Um, and then the last card is the Dragon Ball SCR. Mostly because you are going to have a couple cards in your drop zone that are character battle cards. So it's really easy for you to drop this for a low cost amount. So again, it's another turn three, turn four um, choice if you need to. Um, this is only as a backup in case they are able to get rid of your Power Ranger engine or something like that before you hit turn five. Play this, get rid of the field, and then drop Gogeta 7 on turn five if you're able to, or go into another Policeman engine turn five, turn six. This is just a back backup in case you get overwhelmed and against certain matchups that really just uh, swarm the field. So it's a really good backup tech card to, to use in this kind of deck. But yeah, that is the main deck. Basically the main strategy, like I mentioned earlier, first couple turns, um, you actually want to mill for a Dragon Ball and at least um, the turn one police engine um, so that you could try to search. Again, like I said, this deck is like super strong, super powerful. You're able to cycle through your cards, cycle through your deck really quick with the Dragon Balls. You're getting into seven cards, so you're just drawing seven new cards with Catapesa one drop. You're searching the top seven, so it's very easy to get that engine going on. And then you want to be able to strategically and efficiently use the engine to level up. Like I said, don't recklessly attack dual attack twice because then they'll be able to attack into this keep it on it has barrier it's going to force your opponent to want to use cards on it then on turn three you should it's it's most likely you're going to have a high chance of getting the engine already by turn three because of the cards that you see and then being able to awaken with shenron early if you're able to draw just a couple extra cards um going to the five drop going to the six drop and then if you're on turn three for the six drop this even though this has dual attack i just swing once just let him combo out whatever and then i don't swing again because he, he also has barrier so again it forces your opponent to use whatever barrier card if they do if they use it gg you know that that's just them for having an answer if not then you also have your backup you could also go up that chain again or again go g to seven first couple turns again turn four world peace use your scr dragon ball whatever you need to draw extra cards defend your life and then go g to seven turn five Finishing off with Shenron's um, ability to either give Goji to 7 triple attack, so it becomes triple attack, triple strike, or the 6 drop, Catapestla, triple attack, double strike. Very, very strong, critical. So yeah, there you guys have it. Hope you guys enjoy it. I think it's a very fun deck. Again, it's one of those uh, decks that could catch your opponent off guard. Really fits well. These The, the Goji to 7 and the Power Ranger combo really synergizes together. Hope you guys like that. See you guys in the next video. Peace out.